Hello everyone, I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan and today we're going to take a look at the 2024 Heritage Glen 322 view. Is this the correct model for you, you may wonder? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to four people, has a weight of 8,979 pounds, the overall length is 37 feet 10 inches, it has a height of 11 foot 3 inches and features two slide outs. As you can see here, we have nice huge windows that give us a lot of natural light. Um, something that's really appealing when you're looking at a destination trailer. Now this is not considered a destination trailer, however it has the nice featured patio door um, to add to those windows and so this will do a really good job. It's kind of a crossover unit, one that you can tow but will also work well on a destination lot. Okay, getting started first here, you'll see that we have this nice gold and black hardware. Um, this is gonna be throughout the entire coach. You're gonna see it on the handles on the hidden pantry. You're gonna see it in the bathroom fixtures, in the kitchen. It's just a, a beautiful accent here that really does a good job featuring this light colored countertop with this black faucet and the gold fixture. So moving over here, we have this really neat kickstand bar as one would say so if you are using this as the destination trailer and you have a nice deck situated out here you could easily sit here with the window open and it would be almost like a bar so that's a really cool feature you can keep it down if you're not going to use it it's just got three little locking pieces now on these huge windows these are more residential style as you can see they have no valances around so none of those little plastic plastic clips that will break that you see traditionally and with the old curtains and valances but they have these really neat shades on them so as you can see here they're blackout shades um you've got a little magnet here that holds them together but it just is a really nice look really crispy clean feels really residential in comparison and then this window will do the same and and so will these and those now we have this sectional couch here which is a really cool feature in an rv it's not something you traditionally see and again feels very residential so a couple outlets next to the um sofa here which are nice you can charge your different devices 12 volt and 110 moving on here we do have dual air conditioners on this unit this being this large i do suggest two air conditioners even up here in northern michigan just really nice even if you don't have the 50 amp service to run both at the same time you can toggle between the two let's say it's been 85 degrees it's the middle of july you just want to run the one in your bedroom to get some sleep um so you have that option super nice or if you're hanging out in the the living room here you can do that as well moving over to our hidden pantry this is one of the coolest features on this unit as you can see it's humongous it also has a censored light in here. It's not on at the moment, but when you open this, it pops on for you. And we can turn that on. So that's a cool feature too. Just a lot of usable space back there. And then travel lock right here. That's very hidden. And as you can see, kind of holds everything into place when you are traveling. Nice big drawers in the kitchen too, another residential feel. Got some more lights underneath these cabinets that just kind of help illuminate that. And then we have our Furion um, oven and stove top here. They have changed these, which is a really cool thing. It took me a few minutes to figure this out the other day when I was prepping, but um, as you can see, this lights up blue. When you turn it on, when the burner's on, it will then light up red. Now. It's not uncommon for us to see people accidentally bump these and the gas is just emitting. So what they've done with this, which is really cool, is they put thermal couples on them down in here. And for those of you who don't know what that is, basically it will not let the gas come out of there until it senses flame. So you have to hold this down, ignite it. Once that thermal couple recognizes there's flame, it'll, it will stay lit. So there's no more kid hazard or even adults, it's very easy to bump this and turn this on, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. And then we have our Furion 12 volt fridge located here. These are extra large, which is nice. And you can 
switch the handles on these so you can open them either direction if you wanted to. And then they put the location of the microwave down here. I actually like this a lot. Um, it's amazing to me the amount of shorter people out there that cannot reach the microwave when they put it all the way up top or like in a fifth wheel. It's super hot, super tall and you can't can't reach it so that's a nice feature you're not worried about spilling anything hot on yourself we also have this pantry which is another extra large area to keep some goods along with behind that hidden storage behind the tv so tons of storage on this floor plan and then we've got some here underneath of the sink and it's actually really large you could usually put a garbage can underneath of there if you wanted and then we have some stools here. So this is also a bar, which is really nice because a lot of people don't spend time at a dinette. And as you can see, there is no dinette in here, but I would say 90% of RVers do not use their dinette for, for its normal use. Most people are spending their time outside, but you do have this sitting option if you want to. Now, moving on to the entryway here, We've got the new Coleman Mach um, dual thermostat. This is a really nice thermostat. They just went to these um, and we've been really happy with them since. No problem, so that's always good. And then moving on to our monitor panel and our water heater um, controls here. This is a on-demand gas suburban water heater. This is a really nice feature too. Um, no more running out of hot water or conserving that hot water because it's instant. As soon as you turn it on, it's there for you. Okay, now moving in here to our bathroom, you can see we have a huge residential style shower. This is a really nice feature, especially if you are going to be extended stay or destination camping in this model. And it has no more glass to take up space. It's got this nice pull out, um, which really they've done a good job with those. We've been happy. No, no complaints there. Another uh, really stylish, nice looking faucet gold fittings with the black. Just looks really nice. Nice storage everywhere we look. Now, if you're familiar with Heritage Glen, you know that they're using the VersaTilt beds in most of their floor plans. This also has it. Um, the nice thing is this also has a bed slide. So you can use this in the down position as you see it now, or we can use it in the up position, which I will show you. So in this extra large spacious bedroom over here, which we'll show you, we have a washer dryer hookup slash closet. So it can be either or you can use that um, for a nice uh, splendid combo if you'd like. Um, a few of our customers use them and are happy with them. And then we have this nice little reading nook with nice shelving as well. And you can lift those shelves up if you would rather go with the hang space there. We're gonna have that on both sides, as you can see. And then we have this cool little reading nook area um, with two reading lights there, um, or just a changing area, you know, if you want somewhere to sit and change your socks or whatever you need to do. Just kind of a nice little, little spot there with a window so you can still get some natural light in there. Along with this extra large window we have here, and then they have two slide windows also. So still three huge windows in this bedroom area, and then six big drawers <clears throat> located here as well. So a lot of space, a lot of storage, really, like I said, a, a nice um, destination trailer. So let's go on outside and I'll show you the many features that we have to offer there. Okay, so starting with the outside, here we have our power PSX1 stabilizers. Those are right underneath here. We're going to have those in the front and the rear. You could also add additional manual stabilizers as this is a large trailer if you were interested in that. Um, and those extend retract buttons are right there. Each one has their own. Underneath here, we also have our LP quick disconnect there for an outside grill. That's a really nice feature. Um, it'll use your onboard propane tanks to feed that external grill. So coming down here, we have our nice dog leash, which is a really nice feature as well. So you're not looking for somewhere to tie the dog up. It's always there. It's on the awning side. It's convenient and close to all the people. 
We have Goodyear Endurance tires. These are a really nice feature. A lot of brands are using them now, but we're really glad to see um, that the brands that we sell are using them because they are an awesome feature. There's really not a better tire out there if you ask me. And everybody's seen that person on the side of the road. So those tires are a great benefit. <clears throat> we also have our Aluma Step which is a flip step on this model. Because of the patio door, you cannot get the solid step. Um, so this is a, a nice feature upgrade from the standard metal stairs that everybody else uses. Then we have our TV, external TV hookups here. So if your park has cable, um, you can feed an outside TV here. There's a 110 outlet as well. And then we have our power stabilizer jack button located here for the exterior. This is really a nice um, description here of our wide stance tires. Being 42 inches apart, my driver will tell you nothing toes this good. And that's really because these are wide enough. And then we have some nice storage here. And that's pass through that goes all the way through, which is fairly significant for the travel trailer. You don't always see that big of storage. <clears throat> Coming around here, we have a really nice automotive cap with that glass, um, as you saw from the inside in the reading nook area. Um, it's a really clean look. It really adds to the exterior look. Power tongue jack as well. This is going to have a light, which is too bright to see right now. Um, but that's kind of nice so you don't run your shin into the front of this in the middle of the night. And then we have our... Um, power hookups over here and then magnets that's one thing that that is easy to just miss or not understand but the convenience factor of just being able to flip that up it stays you're not messing with the baggage latches don't have to worry about those breaking inside of here we have our battery disconnect and our sol solar controller that'll tell us temperature and voltage readings um, and then our manual uh, stabilizer overrides if need be and they put a nice compartment latch in there this one here just goes underneath of the bed as you can see coming over here we're going to have our black and gray discharges this model has two gray tanks or a galley and a gray tank the bathroom and the kitchen are going to be on their own and for the RVers out there who have experienced this, it's very easy to run out of gray tank space. Um, so definitely a nice feature having two gray tanks and then one black tank here. Now, this is our furnace exhaust located here. This is a great location. It's not under the awning, so you don't have to worry about catching anything on fire by putting in front of it when the furnace is on. And then we also have our on-demand water heater right here. The main switch is here. The internal controls were in there like I showed you. And then moving back to the back side of the trailer is where we're gonna have our power and water hookup. So 50 amp power hookup there. This unit does have two air conditioners, so you need 50 amp to run both those at the same time. City water connection, our black tank flush, and our fresh water connection. So if you want to use the water pressure from the hose, that's going to be the city water connection. If you want to use the black tank flush to spray a high pressure rate inside your black tank, you'll hook it up there. And then city water or fresh water connection here, this one will fill your onboard tank. And then outside shower located here, that's going to give you hot and cold functions for outside shower. Um, that's really a nice feature. I think a lot of people don't really understand its usage or just don't use it because they don't think of it. But you want to wash your feet and you don't want to use freezing cold water, you can use that. You want to rinse the dog off. You can use, any, use it for any of that or you can take an outside shower if you want to. Also have our hitch hookup and this is really nice. Um, this is for bike racks, for generators, for utility racks, for all that stuff you can't seem to find a place for. You can put a rack back here, you can put a bike rack back here, and this is actually tied right into the frame. Um, and they do say max load 250 pounds, which is a lot more than the old square bumper style. I've seen people warp and bend their bumpers just from putting bikes on there and going down the road and them jamming. So these are tied right into the frame. They'll take that. These are not for towing 
regardless of what anybody says, they are just designed for storage. Looking up top we are here, we have our observation camera. This is pre-wired for the Furion camera. This is a really nice feature, four screws. That little cap comes off, it's got one plug. You plug it in, put those four screws back in and you're ready to go. Um, really easy, really nice feature. And then you can choose the screen size for your vehicle. Um, it's nice, they're not just a backup camera. It's not just for when you are um, backing up or something like that. It's really for observing whatever's behind you. May that be another car, maybe that be your bikes that you put back here or your generators, whatever. It just allows you to be able to see around you while you're driving, not just for backing up. And then we have our on-the-go Lippert ladder located there. You know, at first I wasn't sure how I felt about those, but after using them, they're incredible. Um, a whole lot better for the user, way more user friendly. And, and the reason for that is the old standard ladders that just go on the back are straight up and down. Those are very difficult to people, for people to use. This one hooks onto there, extends actually over top of the coach and comes all the way to the ground on a nice angle. So it makes using that ladder a whole lot easier than it normally would be. So I highly suggest those after using them. They're really a great feature, a lot better than the standard ladder. And then they collapse. They only fold up to be about that big. You can take them anywhere you want, put them in your storage compartment, and you don't have to worry about it. So Now, moving on to the roof. Some of you may know and some of you may not. This has a all fiberglass roof. That's something they've been using in the industry on high-end fifth wheels, on, on buses such as like transit buses and things like that it's a hard shell the material cures to it so a lot less roof problems with something like this it also comes all the way down on the sidewall which you'll see over here which is just a whole lot better in its own a lot less issues for that roof line let edge to leak and it's just an all-around better material um, I think we'll do probably a video on that on its own because it's really sparked a big interest in the RV community because it's so different. Everybody uses rubber, that's what they've always done, but this really sets them apart and has been awesome so far. So if you're interested in that, also let us know. We'd be happy to answer your question. That's gonna conclude our video today on the 322 Heritage Glen Wildwood View. This is a great floor plan. If you're interested in it, please let us know. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more content. Thank you.